that's it covid isolation is over um, we're allowed to go back outside again One of my worries is always that if I sit around indoors too much, I get too used to sitting around indoors and I won't want to make the effort and go outside and do all the things we do outside. Because you get a bit lazy. Um, as it is, after 10 or so days of enforced rest, I feel sprightly, springy, bouncy, with a couple of strange tightnesses probably from sitting around in my ass too much. Oh, feeling tired and slow now. But look, the ferns are starting to change colour it's like my body isn't used to expending this sort of energy uh, it'll, it'll get used to it again though a few days ago I've been running this week and the running's got a lot easier the muscles have all lengthened again and energy systems have sorted themselves out so now my usual 40 odd minute cross country run is super easy again and now we're going climbing for the first time because it's dry enough hopefully and <laughs> the autumn is my favourite time of the year because it's not too cold um, but you have a whole bunch of new problems like the days are getting shorter We've got a cold wind blowing so it feels a lot chillier the rock gets cold your feet and your thin rock shoes get cold Rock tends to be damper all that sort of thing But from our perspective we always try to get outside as much as we can and particularly because opportunities in the winter tend to be less If there is an opportunity to climb outside we try and take it today. There's a big tide as well uh, so we're getting here hopefully just before low tide to get to some routes that can be a bit of a pain to get to when the tide's in. Oh that's better, it's starting to get out of the wind. Um, with 10 days of isolation and not going out of the house and of course all the lockdown that we and everybody else has had over the last couple of years, I really do feel how people can develop anxieties from you know, spending too much time or getting comfortable at home and not getting comfortable going outside and doing outside things and being with other people and, you know, interacting with other people is hard, right? So, you kind of got to push yourself a little bit to get outside and climb and run and talk to people. Stay I'm still upright. not, yeah, and stay upright. I'm still not, I was just saying to Kim, I'm not very comfortable about the idea of you know, go into a busy cafe or anything yet. And I've even had COVID and been double vaccinated. <laughs> mm. yeah, this is a really old quarry, this one. This is pretty cool. You can see the shelf where they, um, they've, they've cut the rock and then put it on boats and shipped it off to where they needed it. <laughs> this has now just become a route for us and climbers to get to climb. Such a beautiful grey day. Last time we were here, as the tide was going out, we had to... Oh my god, there's a kingfisher! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Always something new! Oh, that's beautiful! Oh, that was amazing! Sorry! <laughs> He's flown across the other side of the bay now. I'm never gonna... A, a kingfisher! Oh. This is, oh, the most beautiful coloured thing too! There you go, I was talking about anxiety about coming outside and instantly rewarded. Doesn't matter where, as long as we don't get hurt, doesn't matter what else happens today. That, that was amazing. The amount of time we come to the Gower, didn't even know there were kingfishers here. Oh, that was 
amazing. Shame he flew off, really. Anyway, what I was saying was, last time we had to scramble rain, and now the tide has gone out further because the Gower sticks out into the Bristol Channel. So we have one of the biggest tidal ranges here, and of course it changes with the, uh, the phases of the moon. So now we've got a bigger tide so we can just walk in. Um, although we do still have to keep an eye on the tide to make sure we can get out. Because it will cut us off. Pinch, pinch. We may well just do a couple of routes, but today's first route is uh, called Sam Can Do It. <laughs> Appropriately motivating, right? This feels good. It's shaped really awesome. And this feels good being hanging off a cliff again, of course. Oh, this feels really nice, really nice. So that seems strange to you that hanging off a cliff feels nice and normal. Easy cliff too. Sam can, Sam did, interesting finish. I'm probably biased, but that was a lovely route. Okay, take. Oh, that was that was really nice. May, like I say, maybe because I haven't been climbing for a couple of weeks, I'm super biased. But oh, that was lovely. Thank you all. Hey, look. I got the rope bag right under the clip. Ah, oh, really good, really easy. It's just the top bit has got a couple of moves on it. Nice, isn't it? Nice shapes. see the way that curves below me how steep that was so it was very steep and took a while to look at where the holes were and there weren't like nice horizontal holes to put on they're all side pulls and slopers and that sort of thing so that was that was hard I got pumped hanging around trying to work out where the holes are that took a couple of goes hmm right almost done That's it, we did it, we're back. That was um, harder than expected. Usually when it's harder than expected, it's usually because my technique is rubbish. Um, but that was just difficult, isn't it? Good, in a good way, just difficult. Yeah, I've got a fight with the chalk bag as well. I know, I'm covered in it as well. It's great, it's <laughs> covered in chalk again. Uh, fingers aren't too bad. The biggest thing is that I, I, feel, more like my, I feel more like my old self now. I feel a little bit no more normal if I don't feel know. like your old yeah. self. <laughs> normal's the right word, probably not. But normal. Climbing is part of normal. That's our whoa, that's our way out there. And you can see that the tide has actually cut it off. So we don't need to pack up and scramble and get above. So I spoke too soon. Right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. 